I get a lot of people asking me how we were blessed to walk away from corporate America in our early 30s. Well, listen, I don't want to keep that a secret. I want to share it with the world. And so maybe you're listening to this podcast and you're trying to figure out how do I even get started on my journey of entrepreneurship and getting to a level of freedom? Well, text the word freedom to 737-777-9909. Enter your information in. And we look forward to sharing some information with you, a proven system with smart overhead, right? That you can do part-time spare time right from the comfort of your home and have amazing mentors, coaches, and a community of entrepreneurs who are willing to support you and help you on your journey to freedom. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt like there's got to be more to life than the reality that you see every day? Tune in weekly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as we crack the codes to freedom in every area of your life. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode 79. And today we're talking about making your dreams come true. Because listen, dreams never dream, never come true. And just the other day, July 11th, history happened. Billionaire Richard Branson is the first person to pretty much fly into space uh, on his in his own machine, right? Uh, the Virgin Galactic Space Plane, I should call it, uh, at the age of 71, right? And so, listen, there's a couple nuggets in this. Number one, it took 17 years to make this happen, right? Uh, so just know that if you've been working on a goal, and it hasn't happened as quick as you want it to, keep pushing, keep going. It's going to happen as long as you don't quit. It has to happen, right? So just keep fighting. Just keep believing. I promise you there are people who laughed at him and thought it wasn't going to happen, right? But guess what? He made it happen. And then the other thing is he's 71 years old. Listen, no matter how old you get, right? I don't know how many folks listen to this podcast that are maybe a little bit up in age, but no matter how old you get, uh, just know that it's never too late. You know, Colonel Sanders, uh, the gentleman who created KFC, didn't start till he was in his late latter years of his life, you know? And there's so many other people who did the same thing. So my point is, hey, sometimes it's going to take longer, right? And, and sometimes you may be looking at your age thinking, okay, I'm 40 years old, I'm 50 years old. Can I really make this thing happen? I'm here to tell you, yes, you can, but you just got to believe and you just can't quit. You got to keep going and you got to keep getting better and better and better. And so, listen, um, they went 50 miles above the earth and uh, for about four minutes, they were weightless. You know how they're just kind of like floating uh, in, the, in, the, in the plane. And you can actually take a look at the video. There's videos all over social media and stuff like that. The, the goal is to take commercial flights in 2022. And so I'm going to have to research and read up on what that looks like and what all that entails. But I just think it's pretty cool because here's somebody who said he wanted to do something and he went out and did it. And he's done that several times over. So he's he's built up his confidence muscle. He's built up his his uh, the muscle that says, I believe I can do it no matter what it takes, no matter how long it takes. I will until. Right. So we have to take advantage of some of those same lessons and learn how we can apply them in our own lives, right? Building that confidence muscle. You get a, a win and then you get a win and then you get a win. And then next thing you know, you have that increased level of confidence that you just do it, right? Because you, you do things that other people are timid to do because you built up that muscle, right? And so listen, this is exciting stuff. And I just hope that you can see that you can do the same type of thing. Again, it took 17 years. I guarantee you people laughed. They didn't believe. Who even talks about going to space? I mean, people talk talk about starting a company. They talk about being debt-free. They talk about maybe paying their house off early and things like that. But who talks about going to space, right? But here's somebody who not only talked about it, but he did it. And uh, he did it in front of the world. And I'm telling you, you can do whatever it is you're looking to do. I heard a quote that said, um, you know how people say the sky is the limit? Uh, well, why should we say the sky is the limit when there are footprints on the moon, 
right? So let's just think higher. Let's just think bigger. Let's just, we, we have so much available to us that we can go out there and accomplish. And so what is your dream? Are you working on it every single day? Um, you know, do you have people surrounded around you that are better than you that can help move you toward that goal? Um, are you are you around the right associations with people who believe in you and what you're doing? You know, are you listening to personal development reading? Obviously, you listen to this podcast, so uh, you, you're definitely engaged in some kind of personal growth and personal development. Uh, but but the point is, you know, all these things align together. And it's, it's, it's all that stuff in, the, in our head that is going to get us there. It's going to get us to do the activities that we need to do to get closer to the goal, right? It's how we think about things. And, and that's not what this message is about today. The, the main message that I really want to speak to is that we have dreams and we have goals. And sometimes those goals don't happen right away. But it's okay if it doesn't, because when it does happen, oh my God, life is going to be different for you. You're going to be on the other side. Who cares how long it takes? I heard somebody say it takes the rest of your life to fail, right? So we may as well succeed, right? It takes the rest of your life to fail. Like, like I'd rather uh, fail at something that I love than to succeed at something that I hate, right? We got to have that mindset. Like, listen, you'll either see me at the top of the mountain or on the side of the road dead from trying. But I will until I'm going for it. I'm getting it done, right? And that's the mindset that we have to have um, is that we have dreams and we are going to accomplish them. And I don't care how long it takes. I am going to make it happen, right? You are going to be the first millionaire in your family. You are going to be the first one to be debt free. You will build that company. You will have success. You will make multiple six figures, multiple millions. You got to keep telling yourself that. You got to believe it. Man, I'm believing it for you, right? And so listen, if you don't if you don't have enough belief, borrow some of my belief, but I'm here to tell you you will make it happen. You will win, right? Uh, but you got to go out there and do the activity. But before you even start doing the activity, you got to fix that stuff in our mind and get rid of some of those doubts, those those thinking, thinking and the, the, the disbelief that you have. I heard somebody say it's all about the middle faith, because in the beginning, we're excited to start an endeavor. Uh, and then when we get closer to the end, we're excited. But it's that middle faith. It's in the middle where you just don't know if you're going to get there, when you're going to get there, how you're going to get there, that you just keep pressing through so you can get all the way to the other side of where you're looking to go. And I, I'll just tell you this, the scripture says, if he's for you, who can be against you? Right? He says he'll bless the work of your hands. So what that means is that if he's ordained it and he's already ordered your steps, uh, and oh man, don't let me start preaching here, right? <laughs> but if he's already ordained and ordered your steps, then why should we even, do, like I can see if you doubt yourself, but, but doubting Yahweh, the father, right? Doubting him, the one who created everything, like at least believe that he's going to see you through, right? So that's the thing. We have to just change our beliefs and believe that we can make these things happen because he put these dreams inside of you for a reason. He wants you to fulfill a certain purpose in the earth uh, that he needs you to fulfill. And, and by the way, God doesn't need you to do anything, but he destined for it. He, he, he put a perfect puzzle in place and you're one of the pieces to that puzzle to make certain things happen that he's already uh, predestined to happen. So anyway, I hope you guys got some value. Listen, I, I talked about this on the last episode and I want to say it again, um, is that we have started a new Facebook group for the Code Freedom community. So I'm so excited about it. We're going to be sharing our episodes. We're going to be talking about, uh, you know, books that we're reading. We're going to be talking about merch and stuff that we're going to have soon. And uh, some of our special guests may pop in the group and just different things like that. So I'm really excited about it. And so we're going to keep building that community. So if you want to join the community, go ahead and go to the way to freedom.info. The way to freedom.info is the way and then T-O and then freedom.info. It's a Facebook group and uh, we'll get you added in there and then we'll connect and uh, we'll engage and we'll have a great time. So listen, guys, I appreciate you. Can't wait to talk to you guys on the next episode. I'll be in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico at the next episode. So I'll see you guys there. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you over the top.
Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, Definitely feel free to take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram uh, or Facebook or wherever you find me on social media. I would love to give you a shout out. Hey, you might even get a prize. Who knows? But uh, excited that you had a chance to take a listen. I hope you got a lot of value. And uh, definitely feel free to uh, give us five stars as well as a review. Uh, Show us some love and we appreciate you. God bless you all and see you all over the top.